Way. This gathering is believed to have drawn investment, international film producers and tourists to the Ugu district in the past and hopes to maintain its standard. Well, the program includes industry workshops, screenings at surrounding townships and rural areas. Well, Senzo Zindela, the founder of the festival, joins us from our Durban studio to share more. Very good morning to you, Senzo, and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning um, and uh, uh, good morning to the audience. All right, Senzo. Now, how Thank important... you very much for having me here. All right, Senzo. As a filmmaker, how important would you say these festivals are, not only to aspiring filmmakers, but to the arts industry as a whole? Uh, I will say it is very important because it is, uh, it is a platform that are, are, are used to actually create employment. You know, when people come together, they actually speak about many things and there are many deals that actually are concluded. So it's very important to everyone and in the arts because, you know, actually arts is a form of actually educating and, 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 and through education, we can change the whole nation. So this festival actually is part of a platform that is used to, to actually train and, and, and motivate and, and re, like restore like values and ethics among uh, people. So, yeah, this is why I think it's very important, yeah. Senzo, the Ugu Film Festival, five years later, still going strong, in fact, growing in leaps and bounds. How have you been able to carry this through over the past five years? Uh, and uh, what sort of lessons have come over the years? Okay, um, it has been a long way. There's been a lot of challenges. But, you know, at the end, um, it's all about like, determination and passion of what you do and actually mostly the reason why you do, you do everything that you do. So the festival has been having a lot of challenges, but we managed to actually uh, implement plans that are so effective in a way that despite those odds and challenges, you know, it managed to, to actually pull in films from all over the world, films from all over um, the country also, and like, it attracted a lot of filmmakers from here and investors from other countries. So we actually managed to, 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 to do that, although we didn't have enough means. And the strategy was like actually more about um, doing it for the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the community, to ensure that at the end, the, 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 the filmmakers and everyone who are there, actually uh, in the area, like promoting the, the, the region also, was the intention behind. So that is how we managed to actually uh, win, despite all odds, and we managed to, 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 to get everything that we need uh, afterwards, maybe on the second year and the third year, because all the, the supporters and, and funders saw that we are not actually giving up, and in the end, they end up coming on board. As I'm talking to you now, we have a lot of uh, national funders, and some are international. Now, Senzo, you've spoken about the community and uh, just how involved the festival is with the community. The festival attracts a lot of local and international uh, mm. filmmakers, curators, etc. Um, what else do the young filmmakers within the community benefit after the festival? Okay, um, we've been actually having a lot of workshops, mostly, because the reason why I started the festival, it was after I produced a movie in 2012 for Mnet, two films for Mnet. And then people from the area and the youth and everyone, they were actually asking me, wanting to know, how can they be able to uh, get into the industry, how to produce movies and stuff. So the workshops has been playing a, a, a huge uh, role in actually transforming their lives and the way they think towards the, 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 the film industry. And now, as I'm talking to you, there's around uh, 30 to 40 filmmakers that are serious that actually benefited from those workshops, which means now they are actually starting to um, put their heads on, on producing movies in the area. And, and secondly, there is a lot of, uh, like there's other movies that are now born out of the, the festival. One of them is called Red Cargo. It's an international film between Thailand and South Africa. Now the community and the youth will be benefiting in this uh, workshop, uh, in, in, in this movie, in a way of uh, like employment, and also like uh, learning how other countries like Thailand, how do they actually manage to do movies with less money? So this is what I can say mostly, yeah. 
All right, uh, Senzo, before I let you go, for the people who are interested in attending, how, they do, yeah. how, how can they become a part of the festival and in which areas can people catch the festival? Okay, um, whoever is interested to come and join us is welcome to actually uh, go to our website, which is called www.ugu.org. .org. It is where every information is, is like actually, uh, even the program is there. And they have also like um, uh, contact pages that they can actually contact us through and ask questions. So the festival mostly is actually uh, set to be in at the Rochers centrally. There's a hotel in market known as the Rochers Hotel. That is where the, 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 the festival will be. Everyone is welcome. And registration will be done also on, 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 on the location. And um, on the opening night, we will be at the Wild Coast Casino, where we'll be um, screening a movie about uh, King Shaga. You know, the fact that he traveled to the South Coast in 1828 to attack like, uh, Fagu from the Pondoland. So that's a movie that will be screened on, on the opening night at, um, the, uh, at, the, at the Wild Coast Casino. Everyone also is, 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 um, is welcome, but it's like it will be a first come, first serve. And then secondly, uh, the, 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 when it comes to the, um, the closing night, we will be at St. Michael's, uh, St. Michael's Beach on the 24th. And also we are inviting everyone to come on board. Yeah. All right, Senza, fantastic. All the best with the Ugu Festival. We're pretty sure that things will go according to plan. All right, so that is film producer and Thank founder you. of the Ugu Film Festival, Senzo Zindela, sharing more on the gathering and what can be expected at the festival, which kicks off next week. All right, time.